thousand percent on a bed. I am I am super confused right now. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is an awesome sunny day today, and we're gonna do some fountain pond dangling. And to help us find some spots today, we're gonna utilize today's sponsor, and that is Fish Brain. It's available for iOS and Android, and if you like to learn where fish are, learn the species, learn specific spots, connect with other anglers, and just form an angling community where you find out where fish are, Fish Brain is for you. So Fishing Freaks, if you want to check out Fish Brain for yourself, you can download it in the link in the description down below for free. There are some premium features, paid ones, like an exclusive data-driven fishing forecast that shows you the best time and place and baits for every fish species. But in the free version, you can also access the interactive map, which allows you to look at all of the fish catches across the globe. You can use the app to connect with others and find out information, or if you just want to keep everything to yourself and keep a log of your own personal fishing hotspots, you don't have to share them. Thank you, Fish Brain, for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go give her a pond dangle. First little one here. Two wintertime baits tied on. Got a white spinner bait and a little jerk bait. Another good bait is a jig. Oh, look at them ducks. Pa -pa! Try the spinner bait first here. There's a bass here in this drain. I literally just saw it swipe at my jerk bait. Came up and it missed it. Got him. Oh gosh, that was awesome. That's just really, 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 really cool right there. Oh, and he plunked it. Got that little flit jerk bait. How awesome. I saw this fish. It literally was sitting in that drain. There's some fry in there, that's crazy. I didn't I didn't see it at first, but I just I sat here and went like this. And I was fishing the jerk bait really slow. And then as I got closer to me, I kind of pointed my rod tip up. And he literally came over there and he swiped at it. But what's crazy is what I'm seeing right here. There's fry sitting in this drain. And he hit it like a, a, fry, a fry garter. So I don't know if it maybe had like a fall spawn or something like that. But that was really, really cool. Always throw at those drains. There's another one over here. Definitely gonna try to hit. First fish though, on the jerk bait, baby. Jerk baits are just excellent anytime you've got stained or clear water in the winter time. You can pause them clear enough, they'll come up and grab it. You'll see it kind of twitching at the surface. Looks like a bait fish just dying. Fishing in the winter, I mean, it sucks. I, I, I'm so addicted to fishing that I have to I have to go. It's just not like spring or summer or fall where you just get on like groups of fish or you, know, you get like active active fish where you can catch a bunch. This type of fishing is you know I'm I'm trying to get a few bites. The only good thing about fishing this time of year is the size. You can catch big ones. First spot got me one, yes. Broke the ice. That was a tiny little pond. I had fished that pond before and I had caught fish there in the past, but looking at the app and I noticed a huge one, like not too far from here, that I have never fished. And I'm wondering if there's bass in that, I'm wondering if there's access to it. So uh, it might be, you know, one of those neighborhood things you can't get into, but we're gonna go find out. Spot number two. Looks kind of fishy, but huh, I don't know what's living in there. You can check the app. So I can zoom in on this thing, and I can look. And if I click on one of these greens, I'm hoping there's a bass. Like some of these fountain ponds, it's nothing but catfish. They make them little catfish places. Ooh, it says largemouth bass. Let's see what kind of size we're working with. I got 3G service right here, what the heck, man? This one says, long awaited first bass of 2017 caught unexpectedly on a crankbait. What? 
You gotta expect to catch a fish, man. Come on. Look at that boy right there. Pretty excited about that dangle. Got it on a crank. So it really gives you a lot of information. That's all I need to know. That's all I use it for. I, I log in there and I look at, are there bass in there? Okay, I know. I'll leave the rest to me. Sometimes you get on there and it's like, hey, man, I caught mine on a crank bait. Oh, I caught mine on a worm, man. I caught mine on a purple worm. Only use purple worms. Oh, man, you gotta use a brown worm, all that. Don't get caught up in that dock talk. Fish the day. Seize the day during the current conditions. People are just stopping here behind me like I am just uh, causing a clog here. I don't know. Uh, looks very good. I mean, it's like actually clear here. This almost looks like I could get a little Cinco out and do some work. This looks very jerk baity. Okay. Oh, this is a big pond. Look at all them mallards, man. This is just a huge bowl. There's no good edge or anything on the side I'm on. I'm gonna walk around and see. Give this little drain a dangle here. There's some scattered rock out there. 100% they can see this jerkbait very well. Come and get it. I can pause this thing for a, a, good, a good few seconds. Should return a good jerk. On these jerk baits, I like to reel it down a couple of cranks to get the, the lure at the depth it's gonna want to sit at and then I start to work it. The biggest thing with a jerk bait is to not work it with your reel. You want to reel in your slack as you're you're jerking it, just like a top water, but you don't want to actually reel it like a crankbait. Sure later one. I don't know if you guys can see that a jerk bait doing its thing, but it is it's shysty. Surely there has to be something around the bridge, right? Look at this little bridge area. Oh there's a duck. Hello. No, it's not deep. Look at the mallards. Oh my god, I think I see one. I think I see a bass like on a bed. I'm not even I'm not even kidding you. I don't know what's going on there, but what the this is weird. This is what in the heck is going on? Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna see what happens here. That is a hundred percent a bass. What is it doing? It's sitting in such shallow water. It's like on a bald spot. It's looking at my jerk bait. It's coming at it. Fish is still sitting there. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got one. Good fish, good fish, good fish. That's good fish, holy cow. Spinner bait. Come here, baby. Oh, he came off, dadgummit. That was a big one. I was not expecting that, holy cow. Okay, this fish is still sitting here. I'm telling you, I am, I am super confused by this fish up here. I think a little stick bait is the deal, but I'm just gonna try running a spinner bait by this fish, see what it does. Oh my gosh, he attacked it. He attacked at it. I'm telling you, he just bumped it. That fish is on a bed, thousand percent, thousand percent on a bed. I am, I am super confused right now. Look at that. That fish is a hundred percent on a bed. We'll come back and catch him. That's crazy. I don't know what was happening there, but that fish just went away from its bed, sat there like a female does in the spring and just didn't want to do it. I don't know what the heck is going on, but I've never seen that kind of behavior. That's two fish that I've seen like fry guarding and bed. Bed, bed, bedding? Yeah, bedding. Throw out in the middle by this fountain, see if I can get something on uh, a weightless bait. See that? Try to get something on a weightless bait. If not, I'm probably gonna just try one more pond. I'm cruising right now, just checking out the map. It looks like there is one up here. There's a lot that I've never even been to. 100% small bass, but there's bass. Another thing that's kind of cool is you can just click on a spot and then get directions to that place. So you just open it up in your maps, press go, and boom. Winter dangling is a doozy. If you're wanting to get your best friend 
or maybe your wife or girlfriend or your boyfriend into uh, fishing, don't take them winter fishing. That's not the way to do it. Third fountain pond, a little different. Got ourselves quite a bit of reeds around the edges. I'm only going with weightless bait and a spinner bait. I'm gonna go with a jerk bait in here. It just looks a little too sloppy. Oh my gosh, there's grass in here. Holy cow, folks. This can't get any better. There's a dock here and everything. Oh, I got one. I got one first cast. What? What? Holy cow, you're kidding me. Holy cow, look at that. Slammed it. Get out of here. Get the heck out of here. That fish is cold. Cold. What in the world? I've probably passed by this pond a thousand times and never fished it. Didn't really know it was this much looking at it from the road. Okay, one on a spinnerbait. How about it? I said we make that cast again. A little grass line. That, that fish was skinny though. Looks like it needed to eat. Probably gonna be a situation where there's a lot of small fish. Another one smoked it. Oh boy. Might have ourselves a little something here. Need to fish it just a hair slower. Coming through some of that vegetation that's died off. It's just like the stems and stuff. Come on now. Come on now, get that little spinner. Let's try the old stick bait and these grass stems. What I like about fishing ponds in the winter that have uh, vegetation like this is it gives them a, a spot to hang out in uh, that can warm up too. That vegetation warms up just like rocks and stuff do. And things live in it, you know, bait. Well, I do believe I did give myself the dreaded first cast curse, unfortunately. Been casting the old ding dong around, not catching them. Had a few more bites on that spitter bait, but they felt small. But I did discover a new New pond. Two, actually. Two I've never been to that I know have fish now. I gotta do a favor for LFD. LFD and my mom right now are out. And they have a bulldog, Miss B. You guys have probably seen her. She's a big, lovable bulldog. She's not, she's not mean. Anyway, I had to come let her out as a favor. Figured you guys would want to see her because she's awesome. Winston is actually buried right over here where I'm at right now, sadly. It's even more sad when Miss B goes over there sometimes and she kind of looks like him. She's like a big version of him. Actually, she's about twice the size, but anyway. Hi there, sweet pea. I know, I know, I'm trying to let you out. Hang on. Hi there, hi there, hi there. There you go, there you go. Go be free, go be free. Wiggle your non-existent tail. I'm just here, I'm, I'm here to take care of you. I'm here for you, honey. All right, stay away from that water. I am not going in to save you today. About this time last year, me and my dad went fishing. That was on a lake near my old hometown that I had dialed in pretty well, obviously. And this is us, uh, many dangles ago, out in the ocean in my dad's bass boat. Look at that. I don't even know what kind of fish those are, but I was jacked. Miss B, I gotta go. Can you give me a shake? Shake before I go. Oh, good job. Good job. Yep, I love you too. OSG asks, how was the lake? She's just used to asking that. Like, how was the lake? It's like, uh, the boat didn't leave. A couple of new ponds. One has a park next to it. It's really nice for taking me there in the future. I can give it a dangle. I can play with your wife and fish. Yep. That sounds great. Yep. <laughs> then I caught a bass by a church. It was a holy damn fish. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was a Christmas miracle. Because it was first cast, but then I was cursed. So then it wasn't so cool. I spent my morning vacuuming and mopping. So take off your shoes. <laughs> Good call. I'll just go down to my cave where I can hang out in my boots all I want. Thanks for hanging out with me today on a tough little dangle, y'all. I'm not so jacked about bass fishing right now until Mexico, y'all. I've got a trip to Mexico plan like last year. If you have not watched that series, that's the that's the land of the Mondos, literally. But still, you gotta keep your angling dangling skills sharp so you don't miss it when it counts. Let me know in the comments if you have ever seen bass spawning in December. Pretty daggum weird. And I hope wherever you are, you're having a very blessed day in the outdoors. Go and get you some, and I'll see you on the next one.
toad. That's a toad. Come here, big sexy. Yeah, baby, there's a jig fish now. 